All right, what's going on? Welcome back to some more Pokemon Radical Red. Last time we made our way to Fuchsia City, we beat Sabrina on our first try, which actually is mind-blowing to me still. We made our way here, and we took on Koga and realized we needed to grind up, so I decided to stop. We did a bunch of leveling up off-screen. I can't wait to show you guys the team, but of course, before we do that, Make sure you go ahead and drop a like. Your support is greatly appreciated. 500 likes. I will keep the series going. You guys have been blowing the like go out of the water. Thank you guys so much for all the support on the series. And also, if you aren't subscribed already to the channel, make sure you do that right now. We keep these videos going like at least four or three times a week. We also stream three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 4 p.m. EST. So you definitely don't want to miss that. Subscribe, like the video. Thank you guys so much. And let's just jump right into it. Like I said, I did some training off screen. And I also got an entirely different team member. Of course, Ronan is still here to stay. We got Earthquake, Iron Head, Rock Slide, and Swords Dance on this Pokemon. But then we also have Miller here, the Tyranitar with Crunch, Earthquake, Dragon Dance, and Stone Edge. I went and got a bunch of bottle caps. I thiefed, uh, what's it called, Sandy Gast on the route east of Vermilion City. We got Sandstream here to work with Sandrush to help us maybe outspeed all the stuff on Koga's team. We really just got outspeed Ash's Greninja. Like, that's the thing I'm most scared of, but we'll see. So we got Miller here, of course, then we got Patches. I got Strength Sap on this Pokemon now. Um, I got a bunch of hard scales from farming Love Disc in Pallet Town. So I just decided, you know what, let's give it Strength Sap. It's a great way to get some health back with Giga Drain. We don't really need Sleep Powder because we pretty much just only go for Toxic, so. We got that. We got Arizona here as well, the Pulte guys. Shadow Ball, Giga Drain, Psychic, and Shell Smash. And instead of the Whiter, for now, we're just gonna rock Focus Sash so we can live something. Shell Smash and then Revenge Kill, hopefully. Of course, we also have kicks here. We got Pyro Ball, High Jump Kick, which I went back and I retaught with Sucker Punch as well, and Bulk Up. Initially, I did want to run Sub, like Sub, Bulk Up, High Jump Kick, but we didn't have an answer for like Chandelure, so this, I know it's a really, really odd Pokemon, but I did a Dynamax Raid Den. I was like, I cannot kill this Litwick. So we got Sucker Punch now too, Bulk Up. Then we got Mocha here, this Norlex with Return, Crunch, Giga Impact and Belly Drum, and I changed this ability to Gluttony. People were telling me, just do that, you got the Citrus Berry, Belly Drum works super well with that, so you know what, I I totally agree, actually. Of course, and we also have Ronan, it's the entire squad, the team, we're using Sand Rush with the Excadrill to hopefully have us outspeed everyone. Guys, let's just throw ourselves into Koga. I am really scared of this gym fight. I don't even think, like, just being up to level, I don't even think just having Sand Rush, Sand Stream, whatever you want to call it, all right? I don't think just having that is going to help us. Honestly, I need to come up with an even bigger strategy if I want to win this battle, but obviously, we want to use the Sand Stream to make Ronin way faster, but do I want to lead off with Miller? I think for now, we're going to try it. We're just going to see what happens. If we can eat up the Boom Burst, you guys were telling me the reason that this Swellow does so much damage is because it has Aerolate, which makes, uh, what's it called? Boom Burst a flying move, but also boosts it by, like, fuck ton. It's already 150 base power, so it's crazy now. And then also, apparently, the reason Drapion is so strong is because its moves always crit, and it has Sniper, which makes the, you know, crits do times four damage, so that's just insane. Oh, yeah, and one thing I forgot to mention, please join the Discord server. We have a Radical Red channel. If you have any questions about Radical Red, if you want to give me advice, I, I need it, okay? I really need it. Hop into the Discord. We have a channel there just for Radical Red talk, and, uh, yeah. All right, but I'm not really sure what to do against the Swallow. I want to see what happens if I just go for Dragon Dance. Oh, you turn Okay, I eat that. So I have max HP, max attack EVs on this Tyranitar. Hopefully I didn't mess that up, all right? Uh, maybe I should have put some into special defense as well, but I'm gonna see how much we can do with an Earthquake here. I feel like we just kill. I feel like we just kill, we do, okay. So thank God Greninja's dead, uh, but you definitely just outspeed and kill me. I, I don't want T-Tar, hmm, yeah, I really don't want T-Tar gone. What happens if I go into Ronin? Do I even, okay, I live and then I just rock slide, right? Dragapult. All right, it's dead. It's dead. The Sandstorm is gone, so I can get a free swap. I get a free swap here into Miller. Miller dies. The Sand is... Uh, okay, hold on. This is working really well. Rock Slide. Are you dead? You are? Okay. Is this... No, it missed. It missed. There's actually no... Okay, well, I got to wait for the Sand to go away before we use Arizona. Um, I could use kicks, but I feel like he does outspeed me. This mod is so fast. I think Mocha is the right thing to do here. He does have the Focus Blast. All right, he does have the Focus Blast. It's gone. Drapion is here. I am so scared of this. If I want to even have a shot, I don't think I win this. I honestly don't think we win, guys. I need Excadrill alive for this Pokemon. Wicked Blow is just way too strong. So you go into Arizona here. 
And if I shell smash, I need to get like a crit or something now with shadow ball. Come on, come on, baby. Hard crit, hard crit, no! I just can't touch it with this. I cannot touch it at all. What if I strength sap here? I just go up to full. Can I like stall him out of wicked? Whoa, 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 whoa. Toxtricity now. Oh my god, he just goes for Boom Burst too. Okay, well, I definitely lost this. I feel like I should just go for Pyro Ball here. Also, the crazy thing is that, yeah, Gigantamax Pokemon are just the Mega Evolution, which is nuts. I didn't expect us to outspeed. We do, but we can't get the kill. All right, damn, man. That sucks. Well, the fact that he has the Toxtricity Gigantamax form, that is nuts, man. We didn't even get to see that last episode. All right, I'm gonna try leading off with Tyranitar one more time, but instead of going... All right, instead of going for Dragon Dance here, what if I just go for Stone Edge? Can I get a quick kill on Greninja without taking all that damage? I think I can. Let's go. That was the perfect amount of damage. Perfect amount. Now, what happens here? Does he just swap again? Should I go for Earthquake? Boom Burst. He goes for it. Dead. Oh, dude, this is this is going amazing. He's going to Focus Blast, so I can pot you guys right here. Wow! All right, well, I could probably let Potty guys die for the sheer fact that, you know, we don't have the Focus Ash. Our whole strategy is kind of blown. Sandstorm's still up, so I can come in and Rock Slide. All right, bet. Dragapult is here. I need Sand Up if I want a chance at killing Drapion. I need Sand Up. I'm gonna go into Mocha here, and I'm gonna go for Crunch. I almost just clicked Return, bro. I actually just almost clicked Return. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, we go to Miller here. I'm pretty sure he dragon darts. It doesn't matter if we die I think I just I need to die. I need to die a turn earlier. I think wait. No, 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 no This is a dub because all he has is toxtricity and drapion earthquake. Please kill if this doesn't kill we don't win This drapion is such a threat bro such a threat. It's dead and then toxtricity I'm pretty sure we just outspeed and kill dude sand rush is so Clutch. Oh my god. Thank you guys for helping me out in the comments suggesting Pokemon. Someone was like, dude, slap a T-Tar. You know, you're doubling up on Ghost Type right now. You don't really need Frost Last. Just uh, slap a T-Tar on, at least for this fight. Double the speed of Excadrill. That helps with Drapion. I was like, that is the biggest brain I've ever seen. Oh my god. All right. So we beat Koga. We got the Soul Badge. I was so worried that this was going to take me like Oh, there we go. We got Sludge Bomb finally for Vile Plume, but I was so worried this was going to take me like at least a hundred times. At least a hundred tries, I guess I should say. But what do you say if you give him Tyranitar? Not fast enough. A Pokemon with max speed IVs. All right, that's cool. So did that start at Sabrina or have all the gym leaders been like, yo, if you show me a Pokemon with this max uh, stat, I'll give you a Mega Stone. I don't think so. I think Sabrina's the first one that said that. All right, but with Fuchsia City done, we need to make our way to Blaine's Gym in Cinnabar Island. And one thing about Cinnabar Island I'm super excited about is apparently that's where you get a bunch of competitive items. Apparently you can buy White Herbs at Cinnabar Island as well as a bunch of other battle items. So I'm super excited for that to just, you know, make the team as best as possible with all these items. The White Herb is gonna be really nice on Poltegeist. Honestly, I don't know. Focus Sash is really good as well. So we'll see, but I'm pretty sure I have a Surfer. Yes, I do. And this dude gives you an EV trading item, right? Come on. If you're sick gains, aren't you? Yeah, the Power Bracer. All right, and this route is really good for attack Pokemon too. Yeah, Nita Reno, I think that gives two attack EVs. I can't believe they did that, man. They made this game, you know, super freaking difficult, but they also made it, oh, wow. They also made it very optimized. Kinglerite, not bad at all. So that's for the G-Max, I assume. I mean, it's super optimized for, you know, getting EVs and actually training your Pokemon. It's not that hard. Because, you know, it's one thing to make a game super hard, but it's also one thing to make the game fair and to make it fun. Like, you know, Dark Rising always gets looked at for just being hard ROM hack, but it's also super unfair and not really, you know, I played Dark Rising and I did like it. I think Dark Rising 2 is the one I did. I did like the game, but it definitely got tedious at some points because you're just throwing yourself at to it. Um, you're throwing yourself into like multiple fights and it doesn't really seem like there's much strategy. But let's see. Let's see uh, who, is it you? Oh, you can just buy him here. Nice, so we'll get one. I thought it was gonna be a bunch of other items, but apparently it's not. Lumberries and Dream Balls, that is weird. That was a weird selection of items, but here's Jasmine. Oh God, I totally forgot about the Johto uh, gym leaders. I feel like it's been a minute. Actually for Mimikyu, I'm all right. 
feel like it's been a minute since we've taken those on. Like for a second, I even thought I skipped one, but no, we definitely took on Chuck and that's the last one. So I don't, I don't know, man. I teach some sick moves, but it's going to cost 1000. You win, which move? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is not bad. At all. all right. Someone said I can actually teach gunk shot to uh, what's it called? Cinderace. Is this true? I can. I mean, maybe I should do that. Maybe I should do that. What would that uh, help me against? Fairy types? But I, I have no idea. Oh, this dude can switch to Silvalli form. Not bad. That's a Pokemon I'd actually really love to use. I have no idea where you catch a Titan Knoll in this game. Looking for Hatterene for Grimmsnarl. Interesting. But I have no idea where you'd find a Titan Knoll, but that'd be sick, man. All right. We got Jasmine here. I definitely want to take her on today. But we also got to do the entirety of that mansion and then... I don't think take on Blaine. I don't really want to do that today, but we'll see. I got to put Pelipper in the PC right now. Pelipper has just been my go-to like HM Pokemon, or honestly, it's been a Pokemon that's on my team while I like EV train and stuff because I got to fly to different locations, but it's really just funny because it's a shiny Pokemon. Like <laughs> you, that's the Pokemon you least expect to be the HM slave or just the slave on the team. You know what I mean? But whatever. Check back. We actually caught that 100% legit too. That's only like, the first episode. Whoa, no, is that May? I can see from like the eyes down that's May. Sorry, yep. Oh my God, all those gym badges. I knew it, you're super. Brendan talks about you very often, seems to be a big motivator for him. I may, well, I could use a warm up. I knew it, I knew we we're gonna have to fight her. All right, I'm really confident with this team. I'm not gonna lie, I'm super confident. I mean, I know May is gonna have a crazy team as well. What the fu that is the 71. We cannot catch a break, man, all right. What could this possibly do to me? What could this po- Earthquake! I mean, that makes makes sense, but... He still out speeds! Oh, I didn't- uh, uh, Oh, yeah, there's gonna be a whiteout. I didn't even put the other Pokemon on the team! All right, I'm just gonna use this as an opportunity to get some information, all right? Manectric is here. I'm booked up. All right, nice, I'm dead. I'm dead as well. All right, just get me out of this fight. Get me out of this fight, please. Oh, I actually killed the Manectrix. Oh, no. She has one of these. Oh, no. Bruluma is so annoying. All right, well, you guys were telling me there is Sleep Claws in this game, so I know I can play around it like that, but I just need to save right here. I had no idea this fight was here. I, I How was I supposed to know Mae was going to jump out of this house? Oh, wait. Let me get this Pokemon. There's no way I'm going in that battle with only five Pokemon again. Please get back on my team, Snorlax. Please. Oh yeah, also I want to show off my shiny Dragapult. Look at this. I got this from the game corner. Finally leveled it all up. I got it up to 68 while I was grinding up, uh, what's his face? Tyranitar. Um, I haven't put any EVs on it, so it's not battle ready by any means, but we have a Dragapult on the PC if we want to use it. Eventually it might not be a bad idea. I'm assuming Poltegeist won't be, you know, the best Pokemon for the entire game. I don't know. Maybe I could be wrong. It actually is a pretty good sweeper. I'm not going to lie. We do have the wider, but... Low-key Focus Ash, I really, really like that. I really do. All right, who do we want to lead off with? Soul Rock. What do I fight a Soul Rock with, man? I feel like it's got fire moves. I'm just going to try Mocha and see if I can crunch it. I mean, it's super effective damage. I don't know what else to do. Maybe I should go for Belly Drum. Nah. Oh! Oh! All right, well... All right, hold on. I know what I'm going to do. You call this cheese? I call this playing around a threat, all right? Never thought I'd call Soul Rock a threat, but we're just gonna swap right now into Poltegeist, all right? If they're going for Explode, go into a Ghost type. It's it's just a rule, all right? So there we go. Manectric comes out. I could Shell Smash and then just Shadow Ball this, I'm pretty sure. Bolt Switch. Are you gonna outspeed me? No. Oh, but it doesn't kill. Nice, perfect. I'm gonna go to Patches. I think Patches can just handle Dude. <laughs> Everything has fire moves. I, I should just expect it at this point. All right, Breloom is, oh, this is gonna make me so mad, dude. This is gonna make me so mad. I need to make him put someone to sleep that like I don't need. So I don't really need Mocha per se, but he's not gonna go for a sleep move right now. He's not going to, right? That wouldn't make any sense. And I can, oh, hold on. Patches? Ooh, yeah, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. I used to have double kick, but now I don't anymore. All right, I just need to go out to Ronin here and go for Iron Head. Please flinch. No! All right, let me just reset. Dude, Breloom is not a Pokemon I ever want to deal with. I'm seeing what happens if I lead up with Poltegeist here and go for Shell. Oh, wait, she go. You might have just, just messed up. There's no way. 
Why did she go for that? Why did she go for that? Wait! This is so good! This is so good for us! I might as well just Shell Smash again! I might as well! If she has priority, that really sucks, but like... That's gonna kill you now! That's gonna kill you! Dude! <laughs> There's no way! Solar Beam? Alright, I don't, I don't need that. Relicanth? Let me get some health back! Oh, this is a sweep! This is a sweep! I have never done this before. That is the first time we've ever swept someone in Radical Red. It actually took me three attempts to do that, so like, I... Oh! Not bad, so how do I get a Mudkip? Or do I not get a Mudkip because we chose Squirtle? That would make the most sense. Alright, well I really wish that was all we had to do here. I hate the Secret Mansion. I really hate this place in every single Pokemon. Oh, there's Autono here. You know what? Maybe I don't. This could be a really nice grinding spot, potentially. Oh, there's a raid den in here. I've never done a raid on camera. Let's do it, Macargo? All right, all right. It really doesn't matter who you pick. You just gotta throw moves at this, man, and it's eventually the Pokemon will just die. But sometimes they just one-shot you. It's actually gnarly. Like, you'll fight a Pokemon in a raid den that's like 20 levels under you, and it'll still one-shot you. Like, I fought a Tauros in a raid den. It was killing all of my Pokemon. Like, I barely won. Barely won. But I'm pretty sure we just beat this Macargo or at... The champ does. Sure, let's catch it. Let's catch it. Why not? There we go. Let's call it goop. But guys, if you're playing Radical Red, do the dens, all right? You get so many good items from them. It's 100% worth it. 110% worth it, actually. So just, I would say do them. That's like the only way I've gotten money in this game is from just doing those. Also, did they change anything up here? Is this exactly the same? I, I have no idea. I know I gotta hit this, though. Oh, Megastone. Camera up type. All right, well, I don't think we'll ever use a camera up, but we got the Megastone for it. It's a pretty random one to get. Actually, you know what? You know what? I take that back. It's a fire gym leader. Why would that be random? No, that makes total sense, actually. Got another one right here. Dude, they just they just hand them to you at this point in the game. Benedite? I mean, it makes sense. You don't get the Megastone until Sabrina, and they got a bunch of Megas they want to show off. Pretty much all of them are in this game, right? And then there's obviously the Gigantamax ones as well. I'm pretty sure the only one of those I found is Orbitalite. And that was the one outside of Pewter City. So yes, I did go back and get that. The people who were asking in the comments. But yeah, man, honestly, I should get the Tyranitarite. I need to look that up. If anyone knows where to get the Tyranitarite, please let me know in the comments. We should use at least one Mega on the team. I don't see why not, especially for Dragon Dancing. All right, but I really hope they still give you an escape rope down here. Please do, please. No, wait, no, I think I do have escape ropes. Please tell me, because I hate getting out of here. Please tell me I don't have to. Yes, we have a bunch. We have a bunch. I have never had this many escape rooms. <laughs> All right, so I obviously don't think we are at par to take on Blaine, but we might as well take on some of the gym trainers and at least, oh no, hold on, we could get Articuno. We could get Articuno. I just don't know what to do with the rest of this episode. Like I said, we are probably not on par to take on Blaine, like by any means. All right, we were not on par to take on Koga right after Sabrina, so we definitely have to do some grind. Like we were under leveled for May right there. So I'm assuming he's gonna be like 76. So we're just gonna lose, but uh, gonna knock out some of those trainers, but also I don't really leave in like random trainer fights in the episode, so I don't really know how much we'll see of this. All right, well I made it to Blaine without fighting a single trainer, so you know what? We might as well just try and take him on and see what he's got on his team. This way we can come up with a strategy or maybe like make some potential team swaps before the next episode. So I'll try like one or two tries. I don't want to, you know, waste my time really because we're obviously not gonna win, but we'll try it out. We do have God damn it, I gotta reset now, because <laughs> I did not want to lead off with kicks. I want to lead off with Miller just because Sand Rush is gonna be so great. I know it. Regardless, regardless literally of what's on his team or what levels they are, excuse me. I know our Sand Rush strategy is still gonna be good because he's fire, alright? And if we can out speeding over earthquakes, we'll be chilling. 75, all right. So good to know I really don't have to grind. Also, some people in the comments were trying to like call me out. They were like, bro, we know you didn't do that legit grinding. Guys, grinding is not hard in this game. I have played this all 100% legit. All my items, all my grinding and everything is legit. I've not cheated once. I put that on my fucking, I put that on God, on my mama. Like I have not cheated once in Radical Red right now. And um, it's not hard to grind. If like you need to give your kid, it's not hard to grind. Okay, Dexnav is in this game. There's a bunch of Audinos. Like you can literally just, Say you want to encounter an auto. No, that's how the deck stab works, and you just encounter one. All right, so grinding is not hard at all. Dragon Dance. I don't know what else to do against this. He's probably got like Earth Power or something, right? Stealth Rock. Ooh, I don't like that because 
Ooh, I really don't like that. Okay. We need like another dragon dance if we want to be Okay, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. We might be in a good position here. He has a Venusaur with Oh, that's chlorophyll. Oh my god. There's no way this is on his team. Holy shit! Alright, I'm resetting. I know for a fact my whole entire team gets swept by a chlorophyll Venusaur. I mean, you know what? Patches could probably live a move, but I don't do anything to that Pokemon. I don't do anything to that Pokemon. We kinda need Sludge Bomb for that reason, but I guess Mocha is supposed to be our wall, so. I have no idea. All right, um, with the Torkoal lead that just goes for Stealth Rock, I'm gonna try and just lead with our Focus Sasher. And this way we can still take advantage of our Focus Sasher. Let's go for Shadow Ball. And he just goes for Explosion. Nice. So this is the same thing as last time. Should I just Shell Smash again? Oh my God. There's no way. There I don't go for it again, don't I? Dude, dude. There's no way. There's actually no wait, apple acid. What the hell is this? These are attacks with acid made from tart apples. What? Since when is that a move? That's got to be like Flapple's signature move. But you know, I want Giga Drain. We are up plus two. Am I about to sweep this dude right now? There's no way. I have a Focus Ash, so like. Oh my god, bro! There's no way. There's actually no way I win this right now. There's no fucking way. I think we, this is 100% a dub. Whole dude, I cannot believe that. I can, Pulte guys, I'm never taking this Pokemon off the, off the squad, ever. I don't know why I even thought that for a fraction of a second swapping it for a Dragapult. Shell Smash, holy crap, bro. We just took down two gym leaders in one episode. I cannot believe that. We were so severely underleveled. All it took was him basically screwing that one turn. He went for Sucker Punch, and that basically just gave us the game. That basically did. So shout out to Arizona. That deserves a W chain in the comments, all right? Poltegeist, everyone needs this other team in Radical Red. I'm, I'm, gonna I'm gonna say that right now. Take that to my grave. Arizona is the carry. So we need to, you know what, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm getting ahead of myself. I was gonna say, we need to make our way to Viridian City and take on the eighth gym leader, but we need to take on Jasmine, all right? I'm getting way ahead of myself. Mega Iagron or Mag uh, Mega Steelix. I've been recently acquainted myself with Mega Evolution, so I'm still figuring things out. I'd like to practice. Let's do this fight, okay? And then obviously, where is Price? All right, where is Price? Is Price in Viridian City? I feel like Clara would be in Viridian City. So that's kind of confusing me. This, I feel like you just, you go for Stealth Rock and then you explode, so I'm, I, you know what? I know this is gonna get old. This is gonna get real old, guys. But I'm just gonna shell smash, and we're gonna see. Holy sh! There's a Mel Metal. Oh my god! Well, she had a Mel Metal. Magnezone. I'm just gonna wreck havoc on her entire. I feel bad. I feel bad. I'm putting shame to Radical Red right now, bro. Putting shame. Just d everything's dead. Everything's dead. Oh my god, Poltergeist hits the field and it's it's over. We just got a choice band too. That is not bad at all. We are just slowly but surely getting all the cool items. All right, where is Price, man? We need to find Price. Because I just honestly don't believe that he's in Viridian City. I totally feel like Claire would be there, but let's go check right now. Obviously, they took the Sevi Isles out of the game. I'm not really sure why. I mean, I kind of get it. There's not really much to do there other than a little bit of story and then like catching Moltres. You know, other than that, there's no exciting battles. They don't just want to like put battles there. They might as well, might as well just take out the entire part. So I get it. All right. Let's see if we can find a Johto Gym Leader here. There's also another power item I can get in Viridian City. So I'm going to as well show you guys that. Um, I think it's right over here. The dude who normally gives you like Dream Eater. Let's see. If you like your Pokemon thick, this pun is a great spot to boost them. Um, so you get the power weight for HP. Yeah, and then I bet there's, or not I bet, I think there's like lanterns here, right? Yeah, lantern here. And those give you like two HP. So sweet, we're getting access to the best EV training right now. All right, let's find these gym leaders. What is this? The, bro, I went the whole game without the wise glasses? I cannot believe that. The wise glasses are in the first town and I went the entire game without getting them. It's an item that just buffs special attack. Oh my god. I, I mean, I get it. I didn't start talking to everyone until I got to like Saffron City and then I realized that, oh my god, like they give you, they give you a lot, a lot of items and stuff. 
Oh my god, I'm so glad I found you. May told me she just bumped into you here. I hurried back over here. Come looking for your help. Um, oh wait, this isn't a battle? Cerulean Cave? Oh my god. All right, anyway, we need to put an end to it. If you'd like to heal, sure thing. Oh my god, we're just... Dude, am I, am, I'm not ready for this. I don't think I'm ready for this at all. Is this like... Super, go ahead. I'll catch up with you later. You won't be able to stop the boss. Oh my god, man. That is insane. So we just gotta go to Cerulean Cave now and do some stuff right before... Um, what's it called? Oh, there's a power item right here as well. Nice. That is wild. All right, well, we gotta do some grinding because we gotta go to Cerulean Cave next episode and do some stuff uh, before we take on the 8th Gym Leader. That's wild, man. We are heating up in this game, and I'm really enjoying it. This is the first time we've taken on two Gym Leaders in one episode. The team is crazy right now. Poltegeist is a legend. Sandrush, Excadrill, a legend. Um... I just can't believe we beat Koga and then we beat Blaine too with well being severely under level. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Your support means the world. Keep dropping likes, subscribe. Next episode will be up in like two days. Hopefully we stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So you definitely don't wanna miss out on that. Um, but yeah, take care guys. Peace out.